John Workington here from Michael's Camera. Today we're going to do a little how to use the Blackmagic ATEM Television Studio HD. And I've got this in my hand right here. Now we're a big fan of the Blackmagic line of products and the Television Studio HD is a brilliant product and it's now available from the hire department at Michael's. So we thought we would do a little video here to show you the basic setup with the ATEM in a two camera environment. So this is a bit similar to the video we did earlier and I'll cross link it for the web presenter. Now the web presenter is a streaming device but is also a very basic two input switcher. The ATEM is an eight input switcher and it gives you four HDMI inputs over here and then four SDI inputs and of course if you're using Blackmagic cameras there's also SDI outputs back to those cameras which are used for the talkback signals and the tally lights tells you know which camera's live. If you're using regular cameras you just sort of ignore all these and then to see your program and we're going to get into it when we hook it all up here you plug in either an SDI or an HDMI standard monitor that runs 1080p you know standard full HD and you can see the thumbnails from your eight live cameras in addition to your preview and your program output. So we're going to hook it all up here right in front of you and I'm going to feed the multi-view signal out to our production studio which is uh, being run over to the uh, right of me. And on the left of me I've got my handheld camera operator who's going to get in and uh, she's going to get in tight and show some of the pictures, some of the, um, the individual areas. So. Right off the bat, first order of business is let's plug in the ATEM and it's just going to turn on. There is no power switch on the ATEM. When you plug it in, as long as you've got power, it turns on. So we will see its built-in display power up here shortly as it, as it boots. Give it a second. It usually takes 10 or 15 seconds or so. And are we seeing anything yet? There we are. Lights are on. It is there. So there are... There's a software control panel over here with a knob and, and uh, set and menu buttons so you can get into your settings. The most important setting, which I've already set before we started, but I'm going to get into it here, is you've got to tell it what format you're running. Today we're going to run 1080p, 25 frame per second. So let's get into our menu here and I'm going to go through the menu options here. You see it says program source, preview source, auxiliary source. There's a ton of stuff in here all sorts of really crazy stuff that I don't want to get into on this video called upstream keys and transitions and downstream keys. But what I want to do is just get into the regular settings and show you where we've set it to the video format. So our video format is 1080p25 and our multi-view format is also 1080p25. Now the reason we're running that is that we are in Australia and we are a 25 frame per second video format here. One of the most important things to know about these television switchers is all input signals have to be the same standard as the system standard is. So in this case, we need to be running 25 frames per second progressive inputs. You can run it interlaced, you can run it at 50, you can run it at 60, you can run it at 30, but we're going to run it today at 25. So that's most important. Now, let's get out of that. We'll get back into the regular area here and let's explain what we're going to do. I have two Panasonic PV100 video cameras in front of me. There's actually uh, five here because I've, my handheld operator's got one in her hand and there are two on tripods in front of me. We've got a whole raft of these PV100s and of course if you want to rent them they're a perfect match, uh, very affordable, very easy to use to use with the Blackmagic ATEM television studios. So I'm going to use these two cameras to feed signal into the ATEM and demonstrate how it works from a simple using the box on its own using the front panel features. So let's start off. We've got batteries in our cameras. I'm going to make this one input one and we're running HDMI today. So I'm going to plug that in carefully to show you on my camera here. Input one over here, HDMI. Okay, so that is camera one. I've got a second camera here. I'm going to plug that into number two. Now, if I did have SDI cameras, I would plug them into the inputs numbers five through eight. If I wanted to use really long cables, I would use HDMI to SDI converters from Blackmagic and we have them in the hire department and they're available for purchase of course and they're very affordable and they will let you use coaxial SDI cables which can be run up to 100 meters. 
HDMI cables are not so great beyond about five or 10 meters. There are some ways to make them a little bit longer if they're boosted cables. But for your long runs, your SDIs are the winners. But we're just using short cables on the table here, so the, short, the um, HDMI is gonna be fine. Now I'm gonna turn these two cameras on. I'm gonna sort of point them over here at the wall in front of me. You'll probably see one of the other cameras that's recording here. Well, let me just get this one turned on. And I am going to plug in an HDMI cable into what's called the multi-view output. So this would be what you would see when you're using the product. So now we get that. So hopefully our multi-view output is now showing two live cameras. And is it? We got an okay from there. That's all working. Now I'm going to plug an SDI cable into the program output which is located over here. There's also a multicam SDI. So you've got choice of monitors for your multicam. You can actually use two multicam systems. You could have one which the talent is seeing and another one which your producer is using. So I'm gonna send the program output over to this SDI cable. Now let's just get that plugged in here as I'm trying to do these things while talking at the same time. So now we have our two cameras. If I'm really smart, I can point them at myself. So there we go. I don't know if we're seeing anything here, but here's me with two cameras. If we go and show the program output and the multicam output, you'll see the difference between the two. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch. See if I can balance these things to see myself at the same time. I don't know if this is going to work. Now, using the front panel here, I'll show the front panel in a second, but I just want to do a transition. So I'm on camera one and it is hopefully live. Then I'm going to go over to camera two. I'm going to do an auto transition and it should just fade between that and if I hit auto again it'll go back between the two feeds. It looks like my white balance is different on these two cameras but anyway so what I want to now put these two cameras aside here and I just want to show the front panel. So very simply now keep in mind I don't have the multi view in front of my eyes. Normally when you'd be using this you would just grab an excess PC monitor that you've got with an HDMI input. Everybody's got one of those in their closet. Anything will do. It doesn't have to be fancy. Uh, and you will have your eight thumbnails for your eight cameras below. Keep in mind, we're only running two, but you can run eight. That's what's really cool about this device. And then on your upper left, you'll have a bigger thumbnail for your preview. And on your upper right, you'll have your program. And when you use the switcher in standard uh, preview program mode, you will press a button and that's going to go to the preview. So let's say if I'm just pressing on number one, I'm going to have a number, camera number one is going to be on my preview. So if in the multicam you should see that, I'll put my hands in front of it. That should be on the preview pane. Now when I press the cut, I'm going to get an instant cut and that camera is going to go onto the master. It probably already was. If I hit cut again, oh sorry, I got to hit to the second one. Okay, now I got the two active back up a little bit. So if I hit cut, I'm just going to get an instant transition between the two cameras. So that is a cut. So the live camera is green and the preview camera, actually no, it's live red? Live's red. Yes. So camera two is now the live one. There we go. That's good. Now the little screen on the ATEM just shows you the actual program. So live is red, preview is green. Now if we hit the auto button, we're going to get an auto transition and the default is a one second fade. And there we go, one second fade between the two, and you'll see the two lights switch between red and green over here. So it's very, very easy to use this device. A lot easier if you're looking at your multi-view monitor, but I fed the multi-view monitor over to our other production um, system so that we can then put it into the broadcast. But that's basically it. Now, there are audio inputs on the ATEM, but it can also take the audio from your cameras. And you can have the audio follow the video. So as you move from camera one to camera two, you can have it transition with the audio from camera one to camera two. You can have them muted. You could have one audio fix, uh, uh, feed from say camera two always live. So you've got an awful lot of choices with your audio levels. And you can dive into the menu system here on the ATEM and change the levels. Or when you're using the optional software control, a complete panel comes up that gives you a full mixer. And we're going to do another video later that talks about how the remote control software for the ATEM works. But basically, right out of the box, you have a very simple way to switch eight cameras on the fly and see what you're doing with a multi-cam display with any HDMI monitor. So that's very, very simple. You also have controls for the audio follow video right here on the front panel and you can turn the audio on, off, 
and again, audio follow video. So there you go. So you can just control all that. Very, very simple. And of course, there's a wealth of other features, but from a basic point of view, and 99% of what you need to do with television switching is just changing the cameras. You can do it all from the front panel. As a matter of fact, we use this actual product for a lot of our videos before we moved up to the bigger unit that's got the full-on control surface. So there are two units in the ATEM family, the Television Studio HD and the Television Studio Pro HD, or maybe it's HD Pro. But functionally, they're exactly the same. One is a small rack mountable device or a little desktop device, and the other one is a full kind of mixer style. And that is the basics of how they work. So, if you need to use more than two cameras and you need to do a little bit more complex television switching than the web presenter, the web presenter provides, the ATEM is what you need to do. And it'll work directly from the front panel and up to eight cameras. So very, very flexible. If your plan is to still stream, you take the output of the ATEM, you plug that into the web presenter, and now you've got an eight camera streaming system ready to go. If all you need is two cameras and you just need to do simple transitions, then the web presenter alone will do the job for you. But as soon as you need more cameras, the ATEM is the product you're gonna to wanna to hire for Michael's camera. So uh, stay tuned, we're gonna do another video shortly that will talk about the advanced software control and the sky's the limit on the features for that, but we wanna just give you the basics. There is a free app for ATEM control and it controls it over an ethernet protocol. So it's, uh, there's a little bit of networking involved in setting it up, but it's relatively easy once you're up and running with it. So we'll have that in another video. Anyway, hopefully you found this, uh, I don't know, informative. And uh, if you need to do multiple camera live switching for any purposes whatsoever, conferences, workshops, live streaming, you know that we've got you covered here at Michael's Camera with the Blackmagic ATEM Television Studio HD. Take care, we'll see you next time.